Surround us all and bring healing and help us to rejoice in this day. Thank Teach you, us Jesus. to live out that prayer you taught your disciples when we pray together. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom will come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our delivery, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Family this morning because we we are indeed a family and as always I, I'd be remiss if I stood here and I didn't invite all of you if you're interested to come and sing with us we would love to have you. Today is the fourth Sunday of Advent and the scripture is John three sixteen through seventeen. Oftentimes at Christmas we experience every kind of emotion there is: anger at a disgruntled family member stress at home or work, exhaustion after Christmas activities and parties, and worries about finances or health issues that can drain our spirit. Sometimes these issues surrounding Christmas can overshadow the one real emotion we truly need to experience, the joy of Christmas love. Christmas is about love. The 19th century poet Christina Rossetti famously captured the spirit of Christmas when she wrote, Love came down at Christmas, love all lovely, love divine. Love was born at Christmas, star and angels gave the sign. Christmas is not only a demonstration of God's love, but an expression of God's character, for God is love. The ultimate expression of God's love was sending Jesus into the world, which is what we celebrate at Christmas. Emmanuel, God is with us. God's ways are always motivated as an expression of his love. And as we experience more of his love, we in turn learn how to love others. In fact, our love for others is evidence that God lives in us. When we allow God's love to shine in our lives, people can see the unseen God at work, and that brings him glory, honor, and praise. As we light the fourth candle of love, may this Christmas we experience God's unconditional love so that we may more fully love others as Christ has loved us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, your desire you desire all your children to love others as Christ loved us. But our love is poor and weak and is far removed for all that you desire for, of us. Fill us, we pray, with the love of Christ, that we may love others in the same way that Christ loves us. So that as your love pours into our soul, so we may be used as a conduit for Christ's love to stream out to others with whom we come into contact. May the love of Jesus be manifest in us today, and may the love of Jesus be distributed by the grace through faith to all whom, with whom we come in contact. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Are you faithful?
say together. I believe in God, the, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived with the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father. From hence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. stopping and listening and the whole time the Lord says you need to hear this <laughs> and so during the time that we were grieving I went to the young lady and uh, with shock and surprise she said yes I'll come and share now she said yes because the whole time the spirit of God was saying I'm going to give you strength I'm going to give you strength and uh uh, many of you know her, Virginia Blackshear. And Miss Virginia, would you come? I, I, I put her on the spot. I know I did, but I know I heard from God. Because the testimony that she's going to share is going to bring healing into her life. The Spirit of God just said that. Would you come? First, give an honor to God, who's the head of my life. I thank and praise God for being here today. I thank God for life, health, and strength. I praise God for each and every one of you. There was a time that I had, um, I had to go through a surgery. And I appreciate the prayers of each and every one of you that prayed for me to go through this because it was something I had never had to go through in my life. But I was telling the pastor this morning 
that God is really using him and that the anointing is on this man and he's blessing you greatly in this church. The spirit yes. of the Lord is in this place. Amen. 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 I didn't come on my own. I know God sent me here for a reason. There was something that I needed here in this congregation among each and every one of you. So I came with an open heart and open arms for whatever it was I was to receive. This man, God, is really praying prayers, believe that God is using him. Believe that the Holy Spirit is in this church and that when he stands up to bring a message, it's not him. You might think that he's making these messages up, but the messages that are coming are for your healing. It's for your deliverance. It's for your strength. Hallelujah. And a lot of you that are in here that are of age, you have a lot of wisdom that you can share with other, the younger ones that are coming up now. Amen. They need that wisdom that you have inside of you. Yes. They need those words of encouragement. And you feel maybe I'm old and I'm retired and I don't want to be bothered with this and that. But there's a purpose that he keeps bringing you in this church. There's a purpose that you have to hear the messages. It's to give you strength to stand up and testify to others around you. It's not about you getting the message and holding it inside. It's for you to give it outside. You got young ones in your family. You have young ones in the neighborhood. There are people that need it so desperately. Some people are atheists because they've never heard. They never heard a testimony. They never known that God can heal. And there is healing in here. If you would get up and just open up your heart and begin to praise God and begin to worship him, the spirit of the Lord will fall in this place so heavy there will be Amen. miraculous things being done in here. Hallelujah. Amen. And Amen. the door is up. It's the word of the Lord. Preach it in Virginia. It's the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> The spirit of the Lord wants to do things for you. God wants to move and do Amen. some things for you. He wants to work some miracles in your life. He wants some doors to open. And yes, at last, this year has been a struggle. It's been hard for a lot of people. But God says he's got things in store for us. Yes. He promised us that he would do things for us that he would do for nobody else. He loves us greatly. He gave his life. He sacrificed Amen. his life for us. Amen. How many of us would sacrifice for our next door neighbor or someone else? How many of us? He healed the lame, the yeah. blind, the yeah. sick. Yeah. And when he passed through there, he had no respect of persons. Whoever came, that's who he opened himself up to. That's who yeah. he reached out to. And he loves you with such a great love, you can't even begin to imagine. Our love is so limited, we, don't even, we can't even comprehend the love that he has for us. He watches over us daily. He's leading and guiding us. He's talking to us. Sometimes you may not even realize when he's speaking to you, but he's leading you and guiding you in your direction, but you've got to give up your way and listen to what he's saying. Follow the way he's leading and let him take you where he's trying to take you. Yes. Jesus is love. Yes. Jesus is concern. Jesus is hope yes. for each and every one of us. Oh, I, 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 Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Spirit Hallelujah. God. Just give God the praise and the honor and the glory for yes. everything that you get. Yes. This is the tiniest thing. Yes. When you move in your bed, when you can lift your legs, when you open your eyes, when you open your mouth, when you eat, when you drink, he's providing all of that. Yes. You don't have to see him to believe him. Know that he's there. He is God and he is real and he is right. Amen. He is true. God is who he say he is. You don't have to wonder or go get a book to read about it. Read the word. He's talking to you through the word. He said, I am that I am, and there is none other like me. I am God. Yes. Trust me. Believe in me. Yes. Hope in me. Yes. If you have no more hope, hope in me. I'm here for you. Yes. If you have problems or situations, tell me. I'll help you. All you got to do is bow down and let me know what yes. you need. Let me know that you're hurting. Let me know that you're struggling, that you're depressed, Amen. that you're hungry, that you are having a hard time. And I'll open the way for you to oh. yeah. go ahead. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Look at Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God heal Thank me you. in this place. Hallelujah. God heal me. I'm not here just for a show. Yes. I'm here because when I needed healing, he was there for me. Yes. He lifted me up out of a bad place. Yes. He brought me up and restored me. Hallelujah. I didn't know which way I was going. I have different things that I fight the enemy against, 
but I stand in the name of the Lord. Yes. God has touched my body and brought Amen. me to a place that I can stand up and testify right. to somebody else. Yes. Oh! Amen. Amen. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Hallelujah. Ben said, you don't have to preach. <laughs> I said, but I am. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you for that word. Yes. And the Lord said he's bringing healing into her life. Amen. Uh, healing comes when you're willing to stand up and testify, even in the midst of great struggle yes. of what God is doing I in mean, your life. It's true. God has, has told me in the past week or two that he is not through in this church, that this church has a bright future, that we're to Hallelujah. put our faith and trust in him, yes. and he will lead us to the light. Glory to God. Amen. And I've been praying and struggling for a long time. But the Lord has confirmed that in my spirit. And he confirmed it through that sister this morning. And so I thank you, Jesus. I don't know where we were. Prayer requests. <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm going to let you out at lunch sometime. You know Testimony? Testimony. Yes, ma'am. said that the Lord took her from a walker to a wheelchair back to the walker and he's provided for her. She don't have to cook anymore. <laughs> Jess is taking up the cooking. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the women over here are saying, how does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Any other prayer request testimony? Yes, sir. Uh, prayer request, Brother Riley. I'm yes. going to your former stomping grounds next Wonderful. week. I'll be at Gonzales helping them celebrate the ending of 2023 and the beginning of 2024. And it's all between God and, and, and what he has in store for them. And Praise us. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Charlie? Uh, I don't think a lot of people could say they got much good out of COVID. But uh, when we started coming back to church and... Uh, I saw what a struggle it was for Bill to, to make it up the sidewalk and and get into church and, and I went out to visit him and, and he, he said he didn't have a ride and uh, it's just been such a blessing to be able to to bring him every Sunday that I could and and to, was something really that was God's word that sent me out there to get him. And so you've been you haven't been driving Miss Daisy, but you've been driving <laughs> Mr. Field. Jesus Christ. Love and care means to Ramdam ko na ang simoy ng kapaligiran Habang nag-iilawan ng mga tahanan Habang may kabataan na nagawitan Kay sarap pakinggan Kaya sa lahat ang nakilalang maging sa pamilya Maraming salamat sa pagmamahal Nung suporta kayo ang star ng Pasko Naging pumbilya ng aking pag-asa Jesus Christ love care with his name Puso nyo ay kaya haya Dinalay nyo pang sa mundo Kung saan may Paskong maligaya Jesus Christ love care with his name Puso nyo ay kaya haya Dinalay nyo pang sa mundo Kung saan may Paskong maligaya Araw na naman ang kapaskuhan Papasukin ang saya sa tahanan 
Abang ang mga ilaw ay kumukuti Tap kay Heso Kristo sa'yo'y mahina Tara na, tayo nang magsaya Tang sabi ay nagiging kamaiba Dahil nagsama-sama At buo ang barkad at pamilya Jesus Christ, Lord, care, ministry Puso nyo ay kaya-haya Dinalay nyo pang isang mundo Kung saan may paskong maligaya Jesus Christ, Lord, care, ministry Puso nyo ay kaya-haya Dinalay nyo pang isang mundo Kung saan may paskong maligaya Jesus Christ, Lord, care, ministry Puso nyo ay kaya-haya Dinalay nyo pang isang mundo Saan may Paskong maligaya Jesus Christ na care ministry Puso nyo ay kaya-haya Tinalay mo kami sa mundo Kung saan may Paskong maligaya Jesus Christ na care ministry Puso nyo ay kaya-haya Tinalay mo kami sa mundo Kung saan may Paskong maligaya Jesus Christ na care ministry Puso nyo ay kaya-haya Inalay mo kami sa mundo Kung saan may Paskong maligaya Araw na naman ang papaskuhan Papasukin ang saya sa tahanan Habang ang mga ilaw ay kumukuti Tap kay Heso Kristo sa'yo ay mahagilap Tara na, tayo na